Hey guys, how's it going? It's Kevin. Uh, I was just uh, a little bit bored and I saw the movie Due Date a couple days ago, so I thought I would go ahead and do a review on it. Uh, Due Date is a movie starring Zach Galifianakis and Robert Downey Jr. and it's directed by Todd Phillips. Uh, Todd Phillips has done a few films in the past few years, mostly comedy. Uh, he did... what was it? Um, the Hangover uh, was his last movie a few years ago. He did um, School for Scoundrels and uh, also some other movie with the name School in it. Just pretty much any movie that's ever had the word School in it, uh, he directed. Um, and let's see, Robert Downey Jr. I like a lot of stuff that Robert Downey Jr. is in. Obviously Iron Man uh, and a lot of other stuff. Um, used to be in Ally McBeal, and I'll forgive him for that. Uh, and he's also done a lot of drugs, so Robert Downey Jr., there you go. Uh, Zach Galifianakis uh, has an epic beard, and that's always good. Uh, and he's been in um, a lot of stuff with Tim and Eric. Uh, he did some very funny uh, commercials involving vodka, uh, so you should look that up. Um, but he's been in a lot of little bit parts for years, but uh, The Hangover last year was probably his big breakthrough role, and it's also directed by Todd Phillips. And uh, this is kind of the follow-up to that movie. They are working on a sequel to The Hangover, uh, which will probably be coming out next year. Um, but this is a follow-up, due date is, to a very, very popular uh, breakout comedy hit, which is The Hangover. And it kind of fall short a little bit. Um, the Hangover um, was very, very funny all the way through, had a lot of funny people guest star. Um, this movie definitely has funny parts all the way through it. It's not a bad movie, um, but it fails in a few ways. It it's just doesn't have anything really classic about it, anything that really sets it apart from the other movies that are coming out lately. Um, other than the fact that all the movies that have come out lately kind of suck, but um, it, it doesn't suck. It's not a bad movie, but it's not going to be a classic. It's not going to be remembered a year from now. In fact, I almost felt like I'd forgotten about it after I walked out of the theater. It's, it's just not that memorable of a movie. Um, let's see. Just not that memorable... Uh, yeah, it, it has some guest spots that are, are pretty good. I can't remember his name, but one of the guys from Hot Rod, who's been in a lot of stuff, I really like him. Um, yeah, this this movie has a lot of people pop up that are really funny, and, and also Jamie Foxx. Um, but basically, due date, my recommendation is uh, wait until it comes out for rental. Maybe uh, it comes out on DVD to watch it. it. It just doesn't seem to me like it's worth the, the 10 bucks to go see it straight up. But it's, it's going to be one of those movies in a few years that you pick up and it takes a really boring night and makes it worth it. I mean, it's a decent movie, just it's forgettable is what I have to say about it. So, yeah, uh, give it a chance at some point, maybe. Uh, you'll probably enjoy it, but don't expect to have your life changed by it.